is Leo from the Plaza Third. Uh, I live at 1009 Morgan Drive <coughs> in Wilkesbury, um, and I am the owner of LAG Transport and Recovery in Wilkesbury. I'm here once again, ladies and gentlemen, to defend my name against these false accusations that are being made by basically the same 10 to 15 people. Uh, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, Council Mayor Melbourne really likes to be told, no matter what it is, whether it's a good situation or bad. Most of the time I tell people, it's a bad situation. They're involved with police problems and stuff like that. But every customer that I have, everyone that I tell is treated with respect, they're given a fair price, and they're happy with their service when they're done. Um, or the, uh, and everyone that is told, like the accusations that are being made by these coalition against me, uh, <clears throat> saying that I charge $800, $1,000, all that, Everyone has their own mind. If I give someone a bill for $500, they have the right to go see my boss, go speak to the mayor, write a letter to the mayor, something like that. I don't have that. People are treated with respect, and if their bill seems to be high, there's an explanation for everything that I did for them. Um, over the past week or so, I collected uh, some letters, which I don't know if you have them in front of you. Um, okay? Of, local businesses that, I, that I've done business with. And if you look through that packet, there's about roughly around 40 or so. And by next council meeting, I can have another 40 of different reputable businesses in our city that I've dealt with that have no problem with me and they continue to do business with me. Um, all my neighbors around my address on uh, uh, 307 Cary Avenue are very happy with me. One woman across the street said, you know, since you moved in, I never showed in my sidewalk ever. We do the whole street, both sides, up and down, every time that it snows for all my neighbors. They're all happy with us. We kept the crime down there because we're in and out all the time. There's police activity there. Before we moved in to the Cary Avenue address, there was calls there. They were getting a call there four times a week. Since we moved in there in the eight years, there have been two calls on that street. One was a domestic and the second one was an ambulance call since we were there. We kept the crime down all, over, all around us. There was drug homes in that area. Every one of them was shut down. Oh, there's no drugs right in that area, right in my system. Um, lastly, um, I, did, I did go to the, to the taxpayers meeting uh, last, a couple of weeks ago. And that, that meeting, well, I, I'm sorry, I didn't go. I sent some representatives there and I did report it. Um, most of the meeting was mainly about me. Talking about uh, things that I've done, and they want to shut me down, and they want a new tower in town, and had nothing really to do about the city of Worcester or home in the city at all. It was just mainly on me. They did mention something about the parks, which people that were there representing me offered to donate their time to help them clean it up. But everything else was against me, Mayor Tom Layton, and other things. Just rude accusations that they keep making. Again, the same group of people. And also, they attacked my sister, which my sister has nothing to do with it, and she wasn't even at the meeting. They put it on her blog saying that she was there, she made accusations <coughs> against them. It's just ridiculous. Um, and that's all I have for tonight. Thank you very much for your time. I, I never question on how you talk. I've never had a complaint about from the police that you don't talk right. Okay. My question was, I asked him for the receipts. I didn't receive them. I, so I, we hear our complaints. I get the receipts. I, I asked for you to give me yours. I never get them. I'll, I have an answer for it. Okay. Okay. Would you uh, uh, ask I'm going to allow you to answer this one question. Okay. 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 Would you ask for my receipts on the uh, uh, on all my towing that I did? Whatever time it was, I'm really not sure, but I remember that you asked. It was in 2010 to present. Okay. I was already getting a right to know request from, I believe it was Kavaboski or the Pine Leader or somebody wanted to have my receipts. The right to know <coughs> office had all my receipts at that time. What I did was I went over to my attorney, I requested the receipts for you, just so you could review them. I brought them to the uh, city hall, I gave them to Drew. Drew had them in his office for your review, okay? And right. I explained to him, I said, look, I have to get these back. Have Councilman George take a look at them. Any copies that he wants to make, make them up, uh, right away for him. And then when he's done, I have to have them right back in a timely fashion for the right to know office. They were supposed to copy them and redact them. Right. By the time I'm back, uh, I didn't even do that. I didn't even do that. Okay, this okay. is not a forum for this.
Give him the knife tonight. Give it to him. Give it to him tonight. Thank you.